The American college student Otto Warren Beer, held captive in North Korea since last January, returned home to the U.S. After diplomats learned he's been in a coma for more than a year, he's now being treated at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. ABC's Lindsay Janice is there. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. We are still waiting on word from Warren Beer's family and from doctors here who have been evaluating him overnight. What we know is that his parents found out a week ago that their son has been in a coma for 15 months. How he ended up in that state is a mystery. Overnight, the medevac flight carrying American college student Otto Warmbier landing in Ohio. The 22-year-old in a coma and in urgent need of medical care after being held prisoner in North Korea for nearly 18 months. Members of his family briefly boarding the plane, hugging each other and crying after seeing him. Warm beer carried off the plane by hand, an ambulance taking him to the hospital. A State Department official saying they're aware of reports Warm beer contracted botulism, but could not confirm what had caused his medical condition. Warm beer's release coming after secret talks between U.S. and North Korean officials last month in Oslo. Then, according to the State Department, North Korea revealing his condition to them last week. The president's direction, the Department of State has secured the release of Otto Warmbier. Warmbier was on a tour of North Korea in January 2016, when he was arrested after being caught on surveillance video, allegedly trying to steal a political banner from a hotel in Pyongyang. The regime parading him before cameras. Warmbier breaking down as he begged for leniency. I have made the worst mistake of my life, but please act to save me. Please, think of my family. Instead, he was sentenced to 15 years hard labor in a North Korean prison. His parents saying they learned just a week ago that their son had been in a coma since shortly after his televised sentencing in March of last year. And in a bizarre twist, the news of their son's release coming the same day as Dennis Rodman's arrival in North Korea. They sort of open the door. Warmbier's parents have issued a statement saying, we want the world to know how we and our son have been brutalized and terrorized by the pariah regime in North Korea. Robin, the family is expected to give a news conference updating us on his condition by tomorrow morning. Robin? Anxious to hear what they have to say, Lindsay. Thank you.